everyone welcome back to bara school this is gayatri in today's session we are going to learn about a very important topic from genetics that is linkage mapping in this session we will focus on three point cross i will make you understand in a very easy way so that you can solve any questions from three point cross so guys please do watch the video till the end let's begin so the genetic linkage mapping it is used to find out the relative distance of genes on a chromosome okay let's say this is a chromosome okay and on chromosome different genes are present distance of genes on the chromosome okay so the relative distance between the genes they are calculated in terms of recombination frequency so how the relative distance between the genes are calculated this calculated in terms of recombination frequency so in my last video i have explained linkage crossing over and about recombination frequency what is recombination frequency and how can we calculate so i will put the link in the description box of this video so please make sure to check out that video and you know the recombination frequency it is represented by percentage let's say the recombination frequency between two genes is 7 percentage okay if the recombination frequency between the two gene is 7 percentage then what is the distance between those two genes okay let's say the gene a and the gene b have the recombination frequency or rf of gene a and gene b is 7 percentage so what is the distance between the gene a and b the distance between the gene is is 7 cm okay so the distance between the gene it is represented by the unit which is known as cm represented by cm that is small c and capital m also there is another unit that is used for genetic distance that is map unit also you can call it as the map unit linkage mapping it is used to find out the relative distance of genes on a chromosome and the distance of the gene it is calculated in terms of recombination frequency okay and the recombination frequency it is represented by percentage let's say the recombination frequency between the gene a and gene b is 7 percentage okay if the recombination frequency between the two gene is 7 percentage then the distance between the two gene is also same that is 7 but the distance between the genes represented by cm or it is represented by map unit okay now we will discuss about the three point cross three point cross in the three point cross it is to find out gene order also distance between the gene what is the distance between the a and b gene b and c gene also the distance between a and c genes on a chromosome okay so by using the three point cross we you will find out the gene orders on a chromosome also the distance between the genes i will make you understand this three point cross by an example so this is the question and we will solve it so first for solving this type of question three point cross we have to find out the parental gene okay so the step one is to find out the parental genotype so how can we find out the parental genotype parental genotype remember always have highest number so in the past step one so from where from this question which one has the highest number this one this one is parental type 750 and 753 these are parental type then in the next step we have to find out the double crossover step 2 is to find out the double crossover 
So double crossover, it has lowest number. Okay, parental genotype has highest number and double crossover has always lowest number. So from here, which one is the double crossover? Of course, the four. The double crossover. Then in the next step is to find out the single crossover. So the rest numbers what left are the single crossover. And remember that in a single crossover, the numbers which are close to each other that are belong to a single crossover number one. Here in example, like a hundred five, the single crossover one, and the hundred two is also single crossover one because these two numbers are close to each other, right? Similarly, the other two numbers forty, the single crossover two, the single crossover two, and forty one. Also, single crossover number two. Okay, so now we will find out the gene order. Step three is to find out the gene order. How can we find out the gene order? So to find out the gene order or to determine the gene order, we have to compare the parental genotype with double crossover. So the parental genotype is C H plus. B plus, C N plus, okay, this one, okay, and the other one is this one, C H B C N, okay, this one is the these are the parental genes. Then double crossover, double crossover means the lowest number, lowest number. So this one that is C H plus. C H plus B plus C N and the other one is C H B C N plus. So this is the parental genotype and this one is the double crossover, right? Now we will compare the genotype of parent with the double crossover. To determine the middle gene, okay. Then compare here. You find C H plus B plus. Here is also C H plus B plus. Here C H B. Here also C H B. But look at this one. C N plus is present here, but here it is C N. Similarly, here C N is present, and here C N plus is present. So the gene that is Change in between the parent and the double crossover. Okay, that it is here the C N plus. The gene that is changed between the parent and the double crossover. So the gene. So the gene which is changed in between the parent and the double crossover, that gene should be present at the middle. Okay, that gene will be present at the middle. So, what will be the gene order? The gene order it will be like this: C H plus. Then in the middle gene, this one, the C N it will be the middle gene, right? Then C N plus it will come to middle because here the gene is changed because of the double crossover. So here I am writing down the parental genotype and this gene order: C H plus, then C N plus, then B plus. Okay. Similarly. This one will be C H, C N, and B. Okay, this gene it is changed between the parent and the double crossover. That's why this gene will be present at the middle position. Okay, so now the genetic order it will be like this. It may be like this, or it may be like this, like a maybe B plus C N plus C H plus. B, C, N, C, H. We really don't know what is the real order. From this only we come to know that that C, N it will be the middle gene.
in the next step or in the step 4 so now you have to find out the distance between the gene or the gene distance okay in the first step you have find the parental genotype then second step double crossover then in the third we compare the parental genotype with the double crossover and we determine the middlemost gene okay then we arrange the parental genotype in the fourth step we have to find out the gene distance okay so after arranging the parental genotype what we got we got it like this that is ch plus then cn plus b ch cn b plus okay so first we will find out the distance between C CH plus and CN plus okay between these two so let's cross it so what is the other or the crossover product it will be H plus CN B C H C N plus B plus from left to right it's plus c n b this one is c h c n plus b plus so how can you calculate the recombination frequency recombination frequency it is equal to single crossover plus double crossover divided by total number multiplied by 100 okay so the single crossover that is ch plus c n b this one ch plus c n and b here the gene order is so it is 40 plus ch c n plus b plus 41 40 plus 41 and double crossover double crossover is 4 and 5 that is 9 divided by total number is 1800 multiplied by 100 so it will be so this time it will be five percentage okay recombination frequency it is represented by percentage is five percentage and i told you before that the recombination frequency is similar at gene distance but it is represented by centimorgan so we can say that the distance between the gene ch and cn is five centimorgan or map unit okay now we have to find out the gene distance between cn and b so after the crossing of burn what we will get we will get ch plus cn plus b and ch C N B plus okay always read from the left to right okay then calculate the recombination frequency so these are the single crossover so what is the value for C H plus C N plus uh, B this one is here C H plus C N plus B it is 102 102 plus ch cn b plus here cn b plus it is 105 and the total number is 1800 plus the double crossover is 9 multiplied by 100 so it will be 12 percentage so the combination frequency is 12 percentage that means the distance between the gene cn and b is 12 centimorgan or 12 map unit so now we get the gene order the distance between the gene is less then they will be present close to each other so here the distance between the gene ch and ch and cn is 5 so the, it will be present close to each other then the cn and b the distance is 12 okay so the correct gene order is like this ch plus cn plus p plus so first by comparing the parental gene 
genotype with a double crossover we will find out the middle gene then we have to find out the genetic distance between the genes after getting the genetic distance between the gene we can determine the gene order gene order okay so what is the distance between the gene ch plus and b plus it will be 17 why because the ch plus and the cn plus is 5 and cn plus and b is 12 so the distance between ch plus b plus it will be 5 plus 12 equal to 17 centimorgan then the next step step 5 we have to find out the coefficient of coincidence or it is called the coc so how can we find the coefficient of coincidence coefficient of coincidence it is calculated by dividing object number of double crossover with expected number of double crossover what is the formula for coc okay so how can we calculate the expected number of double crossover so expected number of double crossover it is calculated by multiplying both the single crossover so the gene order is ch plus cn plus and b plus the both the single crossover will lead to the double crossover so what is the formula for expected number of double crossover this is the very simple formula and the formula is recombination frequency recombination frequency at past locus as locus means the between the genes ch plus and b plus divided by 100 multiplied by the combination frequency at second locus divided by 100 so the recombination frequency between the past locus that is between the ch and b plus ch plus and the b plus it was it was 5 divided by 100. similarly the second locus that is b plus and cn plus okay b plus and cn plus what we got is the 12 upon 100 so it will be 0 0.005 multiplied by 0 0.12 equal to 0. 0, 0, 6. Now the coefficient of coincidence is object. Object number of double crossover is 9. And we calculate the expected number of double crossover. What we got? And the expected number of expected number of double crossover. Expected number of double crossover. We got 0 0.006 but we are calculating for 1800 progeny so the expected number of double crossover it will be 0 0.006 multiplied by 1800 so it will be 10.8 okay so now what the value of expected number of double crossover it is 10.8 so what will be the result it will be 0 0.83 okay it will be 0 0.83 now we got the coefficient of coincidence coefficient of coincidence it is calculated by dividing object number of double crossover with expected number of the double crossover so the last one is interference how can you calculate the interference inter Interference. interference or it is represented by i it is that if one single crossover takes place then it interferes with the second single crossover okay that is the interference and how can we calculate the formula for interference is 1 minus coefficient of coincidence so here 1 minus coefficient of coincidence is 
जीरो पॉइंट एट थ्री तो जीरो पॉइंट एट थ्री मीन्स इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन इट इज द इंटरफेरेंस तो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज इफ द इंटरफेरेंस इज पॉजिटिव देन ऑब्जेक्ट डबल क्रॉस ओवर इज लेस देन एक्सपेक्टेड डबल क्रॉस ओवर इफ इंटरफेरेंस वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव देन ऑब्जर्व डबल क्रॉस ओवर वैल्यू विल बी मोर सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो होप नाउ यू हैव अ क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द थ्री पॉइंट क्रॉस If you like this video then please do share it to your friends and do subscribe my channel stay connected